Today on 10, live from the Lowe's Hotel. This is serious business, kind of. The Mascot Hall of Fame is now official. Find out which Philly favorites will be honored for their great service. 10 starts right now. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program with Sally Ann Mosey, Phil Andrews, and Rob Jennings. Dozens of professional team mascots arrived in town in full costume. They are here for the Mascot Hall of Fame induction ceremony that takes place tomorrow. The Philly Fanatic and the Temple Owl were gracious hosts to their friends from around the country. Airport guests even managed to corral the bunch for some pictures and some hugs for the youngsters. This is Fox 29, 10 o'clock news. Philly Fanatic, his mm. mascot friends, including Mariner Moose and <laughs> Slamson and Clue, flew into town to celebrate his induction into the Mascot Hall of Fame. Are you ready to goof off a little bit? I'm ready to goof <laughs> off. Always ready to do that. Yeah, we've done a lot of serious stuff. Let's lighten the mood a little bit. Psyching up the crowd, making people laugh. That's the job of a team mascot. That's right. Later this morning, a few fan favorites from all over the country are being inducted into the brand new Mascot Hall of Fame. They should have had that before. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, they are as much a part of the games as the players, coaches, and the fans. So it's about time that sports mascots got some equal recognition. The Philly Fanatic and Phoenix Gorilla, also alongside Dave Raymond, Hall of Fame founder, and former Philly fanatic, and you see a lot of their friends in the background. It's incredible. The days of three-run home runs, 40-yard passes, and that's still important. But sports is now, as you know, show business. Mascots have such a big role. They now are getting their own Hall of Fame. The first three inductees being revealed here in Center City today, Phoenix Suns Gorilla. Chicken it used to be the San Diego chicken, and of course, how could you have a Hall of Fame for mascots without the Philly fanatic? The idea for a Hall of Fame for them was proposed by the man who created the fanatic, Delaware's Dave Raymond. We needed to create an atmosphere that was fun so that people besides baseball fans would come to the game. There's no Hall of Fame building today. Dave Raymond vows that someday it will happen. Big celebration down there in Center City right. today. Yeah, Tuesday right. belonged to the Philly Fanatic as well as the San Diego Chicken and Phoenix Gorilla as they are the charter members inducted into the Mascot Hall of Fame. That is, of course, an elite society honoring the sports top entertainers. Hey, you know, 31 years ago, in March of 1974, a college student looking to make some extra cash took a gig handing out Easter eggs to children outside the San Diego Zoo. He only got paid $2 an hour and there was a catch. He had to dress like a chicken. Yeah, he wasn't a famous chicken then. He is now. Ted yep. Gianola is the man, the poultry that changed mascots forever. Wednesday, leading the inaugural class enshrined into the Mascot Hall of Fame because who among us hasn't yearned to have our heads swallowed by a big foam beak? Tom, Tom Rinaldi had it happen earlier in the, the show. The chicken, the Phoenix Suns gorilla, and the Philly fanatic. A little rain in Philadelphia, of course, the induction ceremony, which, you know, you hate the smell of that wet fur. Hall started by 15-year fanatic Dave Raymond, who gave up the green suit in 93. Chicken, by the way, he played with Elvis and did, of course, that great work with Johnny Bench in a baseball punch. Julie, I hate mascot stories. That's because most of the time, I hate mascots. But this mascot story is pretty cool. The mascot Hall of Fame, yes, well, there's the chicken. thing. Today is inducting its inaugural class, the chicken, the gorilla, and the Philly fanatic. はい、